Oh, that's right. This is the photo of the year that we made snowflake sugar cookies. Now, we make sugar cookies every year in my house. It's a family tradition. My mom makes them. I decorate them. And I haven't done it this year yet. But you know what? I'm really getting into that feeling like I need to do this. And what better place to do it than in my sarcastic kitchen where I make whatever the hell I want. And today, I'm going to make snowflake sugar cookies. Now let's go to the kitchen and let's do this. Preheat your oven to 375 degrees now, otherwise you'll look like an idiot later. Get a large mixing bowl and put in your butter and your sugar. Oh, all that butter, Paula Dean would be so proud. Now you're gonna go ahead and grab your mixer and mix this together. You wanna cream the butter and sugar until it's all combined. Add in your chicken eggs, those little chicken embryos, just pluck them from a chicken, crack them open into your bowl, and mix that into the butter-sugar mixture. Then we're gonna take our baking soda and water, mix that together and put that in, followed by some vanilla. That concludes all of our wet ingredients. Everything is nice and combined. We're gonna move on to the dry. What you wanna do is you wanna get a separate bowl and fill that bowl with six cups of flour. Then add in some salt, toss in that good old nutmeg, and mix that until it's all thoroughly combined as well. You wanna make sure there are no lumps or pockets of anything. Pour your dry ingredients into your wet. You're gonna mix that around. You're gonna make a mess. You're not gonna give a f this is my sarcastic kitchen. You can do whatever the hell you want. Which includes begging your family and friends to purchase you a KitchenAid stand mixer for your birthday so you don't have to keep stirring this f***ing dough with your hands the entire time. But I digress. If your dough doesn't look like mine at this point, you're probably incompetent and haven't been paying attention. But if it does look like mine, good for you. You get a gold star. Congratulations. Throw some flour down onto your work surface so we can roll out this ball of dough that we broke a sweat over for. Roll it out into about a third inch thick. As I always say, the thicker the cookie, the happier. This recipe makes a shit ton of cookies. So just keep rolling out your dough and cutting out cookies until you have no dough left. I throw my sugar cookies onto my tray six at a time and I bake them in the oven for 10 minutes until they are golden brown. Once I take them out of the oven, I immediately put them onto a cooling rack to cool the room temperature. We're moving on to the buttercream frosting. Two cups of butter, one cup of powdered sugar into a bowl and mix that together. Don't be a lazy and go to the store to get frosting. This is easy and tastes so much better. Throw in an additional cup of powdered sugar and mix that in. We're gonna make sure everything is nice and combined. You can even start to scrape down the sides of your bowl to make sure that there's nothing left behind. Toss in some vanilla, a pinch of salt, and mix that in as well. You want to mix this frosting for about five minutes on high speed. You want to incorporate air into the entire mixture to make it nice and fluffy. Then we're gonna put that mixture into a piping bag and we're gonna to start to pipe on the frosting to our cookies. Start piping the frosting onto your cookie. If you can't do ornate designs like I can, simple lines are fine. No one's gonna judge you except for me. Sprinkle some clear crystal sugar down on top of your cookies to give them that nice little sparkle and shine that real snowflakes have. Give them the old razzle dazzle. Well, there you have it. It's the best sugar cookie recipe you are ever gonna make. If you wanna impress your coworkers at that holiday party, you are gonna make these cookies and you're gonna bring them in and serve it to them. It's really aggressive. Leave a like, a comment, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next episode of My Sarcastic Kitchen. Let's look at the show.